Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, at Open TTD Let's Play. We are in the Game of Thrones map in Westeros with Dutch town names randomly generated, uh, some new GRFs going on, and we have just built our two first passenger and mail tram lines because we don't have trains yet. And trams are cooler than road vehicles, of course. Actually, the road vehicles are just horses and carriages and uh, the trams as well but on the tram line so what we are going to do in this episode is focus on making some money and we have checked the the cargo uh, distribution or no what's it called the cargo payment rates and fish fish over here is really valuable so let's try to, to find some fish we can keep the game paused later we will take a look if everything is going okay over there but for now let's let's find some fish and we have only one fish uh, sandbank over here. We have a few over here, but really the ships at this point in time, it's 1801, uh, the ships are really slow. So we can't go too far out of the sea or, or we will not make any profit. So we could go somewhere in a completely different place. But really what I was hoping to find was a few sources of fish next to each other. Like this, exactly like this. So here we have no fish, only passengers. Here we have only passengers. No, wait, that's not true. There are fishing, fishing grounds. Fish, fish, sand. So this is, ah, this is not a sandbank. It's a dredging site. Fish, fish, and fish. Three sources. That should be okay as long as I can uh, bring the fish somewhere. Where does it need to go again? I'm using the FIRS, uh, F-I-R-S, new GRF. And in this new GRF, the fish needs to go to a fishing harbor. So let's see, do we have a fishing harbor nearby? That's the question. We have this, which is a port, not exactly the same as a fishing harbor. We have this, a bulk terminal, also not exactly the same as a fishing harbor. I'm not sure if we can do fish. Because yeah, if we if we need to go too far, we won't make any profit. Fish will be uh, spoiled. So maybe we should see how far we can get using only passengers or clay. Where does clay go? Clay goes from a clay pit to a bulk terminal. Do we have a bulk terminal nearby? I don't think so. We will have to keep keep working with passengers and and hopefully hope hope that we make some money we are actually not doing too bad at the moment so let's take a look we are if we subtract these one time cost for for buying the vehicles then we are actually making a profit right now so we could even we could even uh, repay our loan so we don't have to pay as much interest then we can go faster and we can see what is going on here so this one is making a very small profit uh, carrying 12 bags of mail uh, so that seems to be going all right it they are they are going a bit slow because um, I only have one station here they need to make a turn that will take some time but it doesn't really matter I think it's going all right so then the, the passengers, they are also going fine. This is all going fine, really. So let's connect another town. Yes, let's focus on that. So here are a few towns. This is a large distance for, for trams in the 1800s, but it should be doable. And... Uh, I need to figure out what is the best route. So we could we could go from Spear to 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 the How to Stenos to Compa this way, and I think that is the best decision. So it won't be a direct route from here to here, but really we're going a bit around, but servicing one more town. That seems like a like a good idea. So let's do that. This town is so small it only needs one station. One tram station right here. And
and then this town is bigger but really also doesn't need two stations I think maybe one over here and then this town this town is also not really elongated so yeah it doesn't make sense to, to use two stations so one over here then for freight oh, let's slow things down a bit then for freight uh, I'm not sure if I want to do the to do the same one over here actually here I could make a freight station right here and but here it will be a bit too far I could I could put one over here but yeah really it, it doesn't feel realistic to me to to let that count as the same station so let's do this here will be a freight station mainly for mill and then let's connect connect the towns so here the passengers are already going this way the freight is actually going this way what we could do though is make another station right here which is the same passenger stra station it feels a bit like cheating let's go this way so the route that goes from here to here will not go past Spear Central a name that I still need to change by the way because it doesn't make sense to me to have Spear and Spear Central I just don't like that so I will change it and I will change that in all the town towns later on so this is a tram line that goes through this little town over here then let's check uh, oops. then this way needs to go downhill a bit trams at this point in time really have trouble moving up uphill but yeah if you ha if you go downhill and, and and back then of course you're uh, you have to move uphill at some point we don't have enough cash but that's okay because we can borrow some so let's go this way and then the freight actually yeah no let's connect it like that and the freight can make a turn over here the passenger tram line can go over here and then we can just connect the towns like this we should connect them with roads as well maybe but yeah the towns won't grow for a while because of the settings I used or the what do you call that the, the scheme the there's a name for it you can only use one of them so let's check how 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 are we going to go back we could go back this way because that that part is just for freight and that part can go like this so that will be the freight station and the passengers the passenger tram can go like this and probably just back like this it seems okay we might need another depot because else the trams will will be will go a long time without any service so let's make a depot in Compen and this actually seems like the perfect perfect spot for it a depot right here and then let's build the trams so the tram line will be wider to Compen two horse passenger tram starting at the depot here in Wider going to Wider, Wider Central and then back to the depot if needed then through this station of Spear but not that one through this little town actually there was a faster way to do that so like this because it also needs to go back at some point and this I've seen someone else do that. What's his name? Zest Husky Plays. It was the first Let's Play of OpenTTD that I've watched. And actually one of the first Let's Plays I watched in general. I watch a lot of Let's Plays now of the games I like. And uh, Zest Husky, uh, you should check him out. He was uh, one of the first. He also likes to do things his own way. Um, make things nice and realistic. Up to a certain point. 
and uh, yeah it was really uh, really fun to watch him uh, build an empire from scratch an empire from scratch that's the name of his youtube video you should check it out it was the one reason for me to play open ttd again and uh, actually also to make a let's play and to uh, to discover the beautiful world of youtube let's plays so yeah i don't know how i got on this topic but i finished this line um it then goes back from this depot not through this station again but through uh stain ovens again then um let's see that's not quite right i think i forgot i forgot one station needs to go here as well no wait everything is wrong let's check from the depot or you can uh, control click on this from the depot to Waarde, to Waarde Central, to the depot, to Speer, to the Hau, to Steenovens, to Kampen, then, this is not correct, to the Kampen Road Vehicle Depot, then to Steenovens, then to the Hau, then to Speer, and then it will be back at the depot again. So that seems fine at the moment. Two depots, then this depot. All right, so we've made a new line. Let's give it a name. This will be the line Waarder Kampen. Waarder Kampen. And actually, let's put the, this all in an even bigger group called Waarder. So, because later on we might uh, make some lines starting from somewhere else or focused on some other town. So where the Kampen is the group for this vehicle and it will also be its name. Let's call it where the Kampen number one. All right. So let's make quite a few of these. I've put the vehicle limit on um, 1500, I think, because I've noticed that if you do trams, you need a lot of road vehicles. Sorry, if you start early. You start in the I started in the 1700s even and then you need so many road vehicles uh, and really you will reach the uh, the default limit very quickly okay so that is our our passenger line to Compen then since we do have freight stations over here although not in this small town i'm not sure if it's necessary will it generate mill yeah of course it will generate some mill let's do it let's 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 make a uh uh what you call it a freight tram station over here and this seems like a good spot right yes or maybe here next to this uh what is it? A football stadium. European football, not American football, I think. Wait, let's connect it to the other one. Uh, yes. So this will be for freight. Not enough cash. Oh no. Let's borrow some more. I hope the interest won't kill us, because interest, I, I've put the setting of that interest, uh, that, that there is a inflation, inflation I've put off, but there is an interest, of course, for, um, for a loan. What is this? They're building a hotel over here. That is excellent news, because I've just made a, a passenger line through here, and a hotel will accept passengers or provide passengers to transport two towns i'm not sure how that works but why is it not finished i don't know this is not the hotel graphic of course you can imagine so yeah let's make um, a mail line to company so this one will also start in this depot go through a wider which is actually actually this spot over here then to this station over here, then 
back to the depot if necessary then do I have a uh, freight over here oh yes I do spear and actually let me connect that to this line because this one won't go to spear central but it will continue on to the how then to stain ovens then to company central and there is no mill over here but that's fine then we'll go to the depot back to through here back through here and through here and then it's back at this depot so this will be our mill line from Waarder to Kampen mill let's put it in a new group Waarder Kampen mill and let's put it inside Waarder Kampen so we can actually use quite a lot of these but not as much as passengers I think let's take a look at the stations if there are a lot of whoa see that 2648 passengers waiting to go from here yeah I'm pointing at my screen which doesn't make sense from here to here I mean that's four houses that is one minute by foot but they want to take the tram anyway these lazy people oh well ah wait that's incorrect they are going via that station so they're going via from here via this to uh, Kuik's Eind which is over here to Schipperskerk which is over here to Spear so everywhere basically and yes 1600 want to go via Wider Central to Wider Central yeah so they will they will exit at this station okay so that is good to know so we might have to take a look into trams that will just travel back and forth over here hmm does that make sense I wonder I don't know enough about open TTD but maybe one of you guys know if I put an if I add a station over here for example and passengers are waiting over there will that mean that will that imply that less passengers are waiting over here for example the guys that live in here will they go to this station then if I add it instead of this station I'm not sure if that's how it works and I could try but I really don't want to keep more passengers waiting at uh, at a tram station so yeah things are going getting pretty hectic already over here let's add another freight station as soon as I can because uh, now all of them need to load and unload in this station over here ah I've built it so now they can choose to use this one as well and yeah I might run into the same problem over here but I don't want to delete any delete any buildings huh I could put two right next to each other I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not but let's do it so this one's bigger and let's also change the names because this name sucks All right this is where the I see a, a Swedish uh, a hospital over here Schukhus. I believe that's Swedish for hospital so let's call it wider hospital also not the most creative but more creative than what it was before and then this one I will just think of some kind of name where the uh, I don't know any street names in uh, in English I don't know St. Patrick Street that sounds like something that could be a real street name all right uh, it looks like a nice shopping street uh, with uh, with some cafes terraces that's uh, that's really nice I'm always surprised by how how many of these towns have a football stadium I mean even the smallest of the smallest towns have football stadium that's, that's a ah the hotel is finished then we know what to do we are going to connect this hotel to the to this line let's see it's quite uh, it's quite hilly over here I would prefer a flat terrain but let's uh, let's do it like this does that work I'm not sure no wait that might not work let's do it like this 
and they the council is angry they refuse to 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 let me build another station i hope that will improve over time i think it will because we are servicing this town right now they are very we have a very poor rating and the station has a very good rating actually so i think it will improve over time I also have a farm here with livestock and milk, but I'm not sure if we can take it anywhere. Not here, definitely. So let's change the names. This one is fine. This one we will call um, Kauks and East. Not the most creative, but it does its purpose. And Kauks Central, yeah, that's actually fine. So we have a Central and we have East. And then over here, we have uh, not central. Let's call this the, um, the I don't know. Ah, stadium. Stadium, stadium. I'm not sure what the difference is in English. Stadium. And then here we have Spear South. Then let me quickly do the other ones as well, and then we will do something new. The how old town hall that seems fine, but we have another old town hall. Now this one is um, this one is uh, called um, town square. Even though I don't have a square yet, Steno. I don't know any of these Dutch places except for this one, Kampen. It's in uh, Overijssel, I think. The other ones are probably. Uh, small towns in reality just like in the game actually now this is a nice name to call central but i cannot do that because the other station is also called central so let me change the name of this one first and this one won't accept passengers so it's just the the mill office that's the name in english this one is the company mill office and this one is company central now that makes a lot more sense so this will take quite some time, I think, to um, for our company rating to increase, or or our uh, what do you call it, our reputation. But things seem to be going okay. And uh, let me check if we have some more time. I think we're going to uh, leave it with this in uh, in this video. So thank you guys a lot for watching. Next time we might connect some other towns. Check uh, if we can make a profit. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.